Marakatos Kiata, when it was time for Lazarus to come back to life. Ayaya, let me speak to someone. Everything dead in your life. Hear the word of the Lord. Talita Kumi, come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Every mantle, every door of favor, every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny. Everything that has died, hear the word of the Lord. Your influence, your relevance, come back to life now. Come back to life now. He said, Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, Only thou knowest. He said, Prophesy. I want to prophesy. Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours. But now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hear me. When there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of man. If you lose money, it was not an attack. It can just be a business. Walked with him and held the cross for him. Aside from John and his mother at the cross. So when you begin to lose your peace. Number two, when you always sit down. Number one, the Bible says, now the Lord of peace himself will let. You don't have men. Some of you have churches. But you do not have men. Men are very important. Men are in many cases a sign that God is with you. I have taught you that the proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is access to the hearts of men. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call to your life the ministry of men. I call to your life the ministry of men. Enjoy the ministry of men. Enjoy divine connectors. Enjoy men of influence. Enjoy gifted men. Enjoy burden bearers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, before you sit, let me pray for your passion. Some of you, your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it. Everything you said you would do this year, the zeal some of you even for ministry you may be men and women of god but sincerely that zeal again the zeal to fast gone zeal for god gone zeal for your goals gone the resilience to push towards your destiny is gone right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone let your zeal be restored let your zeal be restored your zeal for the house of god your zeal for the things of god your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny be restored in the name of jesus please open your mouth in one minute and receive i declare that i receive in the name of jesus is someone ready tonight the first thing we are going to do right now please listen no distraction Please, don't allow the devil distract you. We are working with time. In the next two or three minutes, you are going to cry. A, we are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before God. Don't be too proud, though. You are going to cry before the God of it. You don't have to lie down or whatever. Whatever position is comfortable. Not as an act of condemnation. Genuinely before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I am standing in repentance if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face 
and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance shabalakatos those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold i was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts shalt thou make me to know wisdom uh-huh purge me with high soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities verse 10 create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence take not thy holy spirit from me verse 12 restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and behold me with a, and uphold me with a free spirit then i will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shalt not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem someone is praying then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with bond offerings and whole bond offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness mercy mercy in the name of jesus mercy 
we come boldly to the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need mercy for nigeria mercy for our regions mercy for koinonia mercy for every family here mercy for every business mercy for every captain of industry every politician every head of parliament every professional mercy for our children mercy for those who have gone ahead of us in the name of jesus prayer point number two as for me and my house lord i agree with you this day that i will serve the lord no other name no other god no other force no other influence someone is praying please pray whether you come from lagos whether you come from plateau state from kaduna state from maiduguri from enugu anambra cross river port Harcourt, it does not matter whether you are from the fct lord as for me and my house i dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols someone is praying i dissociate myself from the worship of deities fraternities with gods that are not the true god i declare that as for me and my family i worship the one true god jesus the son of the living god it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did lord we pray as a nation lord we pray as a region as for me and my house as for me and this ministry someone pray as for me and my children pray as for me and my wife as for me and my husband as for me and my corporation outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for jesus we will serve the lord pastors pray as for me and the vision god has given me no consulting mediums no consulting powers no consulting shrines it is jesus only jesus ever jesus only jesus ever as the source of power as the source of revelation as the source of illumination no bribery no corruption pastors pray no manipulating members sincerity of truth loving them and serving them In the name of jesus now don't be tired we are still praying right now on legal basis you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life the blood is against it he said we overcame them by the blood of the lamb someone open your mouth and begin to decree in the name of jesus the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what alters by the patterns in your life call it by name and curse it by the god of heaven operations of poverty 
operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail untimely death you come to an end over my life failure you come to an end over my life disfavor shame and reproach the blood is against you whoever and whatever gave you legal access i come by the backing of the throne of grace i come by the backing of the throne of grace i come by the backing of the throne of grace Someone pray. A new order is imagined from you tonight. Your children will thank you. Your children's children will thank you. They will say, at what point did this transformation start? And you will tell them, when I found the revelation of the mystery of altars. Someone prophesy. My father may have died early my mother may have died early but i will not die early i will not die on timely death in the name of jesus i am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of jesus pray graduates from the families no job no lifting pray people don't get married or they get married and the homes don't stay barrenness repetitive patterns failures in business someone pray the operation of these altars come to an end from lagos to abuja to maiduguri to kaduna state to rivers to cross river to kogi state I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. Someone pray. Enough is enough enough is enough we are bringing a new order pray for your family enough is enough enough is enough of children becoming useless enough is enough of people never finishing what they start enough is enough in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please listen to me in the name of jesus when i started ministry and i discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry i said minus me but i knew that it would not just be empty talk you see let me tell you something about altars they don't care whether you are a pastor they don't care whether you are whatever once there is no compliance you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen i made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level that it will be my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative you are going to pray one more prayer before I speak over it. please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory 
I connect you to the throne of grace. Go ahead and pray. My destiny and my glory, you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace. My destiny and my glory, you are not connected to ancestry. My destiny and my glory, you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation. My destiny and my glory, you are not connected to earthly and platforms. You are connected to the throne of grace. Someone pray. My destiny, my glory. Pray for your ministry, my business. Your influence. The workings of the spirit in your life. Connected to the throne of grace. Backed up by the king of kings himself. Backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant. The meaning of that is no enchantment. And no divination. No enchantment. No activities of wizardry. Necromancy. The wasters of destiny. They have no access to your life again. Connected to the altar. Please pray. You are not wasting your time. Connect your business. By faith in the son of the living God not as a blind ritual no let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am no longer connected to ancestry someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward Connected to the throne of grace. Let it be known to principalities and powers. Let it be known to thrones and dominions. That there is a switch of loyalty let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god's dear son hallelujah praise the name of the lord hear me my dear people everyone is destined by christ to rise there is nobody who is destined to remain down. Please place your right hand on your head prophetically. In the name of Jesus, every family, every individual, every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation so that you will not move forward. Maybe you are a mother. Maybe you are a father. Maybe you are a man of God. Maybe you are a businessman. Maybe you are coming here for the first time watching online. And it looks like there are altars that have vowed that you will not move forward. I stand by this mantle. I have been anointed by God to declare your liberty. Right now, may the power of God come upon you. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. Some of you are standing not only for yourself. I want to pray for families here. Whole families that have been tied down. It looks like Every altar sitting on the sitting 
stand on the glory of any family if i be sent by god i stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle may fire fall upon that altar now may fire fall upon that altar release them now release their destinies now release their destinies now Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria parts of Africa I declare may the anointing of the spirit touch you right in your room in your office right now I set you free yokes of limitation be delivered now every chain that has tied your hand and tied your feet hold on please listen we're still praying in Acts chapter 12 watch this now when Peter was in the prison they tied two parts of his body number one his hands that's a symbol of your productivity number two your feet that is the symbol of your advancement they didn't tie his mouth they didn't tie his eyes but they tied his hand and his feet and the bible says they bound him that means to bind a man it is not every part of him you need to tie if you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement that man is bound let me release someone by the anointing of the spirit i declare your hands spiritually my god fire is coming on people's hands now these hands that have not been released maybe your father's hand was tied and all through his lifetime he lived a miserable life maybe your mother's hand was tied some of you the hands of your siblings I come holding the key of David given by the God of heaven himself in the name of Jesus may those chains be loose from your hands loose from your feet loose from your hands loose from your feet loose from your hands Shapakatoskata. loose from your feet man of God I release you it's time for your ministry to open up I release you apostle prophet teacher every altar sitting on your ministry every altar sitting on your ministry be released now And I tell you this, some of you have gone through serious financial hardship. God organized this miracle service to bring financial healing, to bring financial deliverance. And I'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now. I've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers. These are men anointed, commissioned by God to pay attention to your destiny. Not everyone is a destroyer. There are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around. Who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came. It is what is on you that controls what is around you. Every man gave him a piece of money. Every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level 
I declare, place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. Place that grace. This is a miracle service. Make sure you are praying. Place that grace upon my life, oh God, that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me. Place that grace upon my life. Forget about where you have been. Pray. pray I will hold on to the store I will hold on to your word my story is about to change you are the lifter of men the lifter of men Lord I will hold on to the store I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus Please listen to me I submit to you by God That there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you nobody will come and lift you on their own I've told you this there is the power that rests upon your head thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters please place your hand on your head Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows, outside, I am praying, Paracosia. Lord, the grace that must rest upon them, that will compel the helpers of destiny, to gravitate towards them in the name of Jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now in the name of Jesus you see let me tell you something my dear people for as long as God brought you here this night I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence. I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering bad luck. Anybody that says he will bless this woman, something must happen to them and they will neglect them. If there is anybody like that, people keep making promises. Tomorrow they will say, next week they will say, whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you, I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please don't, 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended. The, may God bless you, madam. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a woman, you are a widow. Oh dear. This woman has suffered oh this woman you are a widow and if I don't pray for you it's nothing at all is coming from anyone it's as if you don't have children it's as if nothing is happening you are you are quite an aged woman I don't know who that person is the Lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person 
you are a woman an elderly woman you are a widow but honestly as it is sincerely that you love god sincerely but absolutely nothing is happening this woman i'm seeing i know you came out but i'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside the overflow outside the overflow outside i'm not just praying for every widow of course i will pray for you if you come out but the particular person i want to pray for you are outside father you are the god that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the lord called that name christy and i want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family because god wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you upstage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore i stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus I open this door in the spirit and I declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive you will do what Jabez did tonight is not just to shout amen my job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you but you have a responsibility for god's sake to pray in holy anger give us that scripture verse 10 the bible says and god and god granted him that which he requested god granted him not that which he has been admiring in others not that which he, he wants passively i know it but it's just between me and god <clears throat> blind Bartimeo said thou son of david i don't care who else is hearing it have mercy on me and the people said keep quiet you are the one who knows the heart you are the one who knows what lack of employment has done to you you are the one who you you know it's always it's often said that the person wearing the shoes is the one who knows where it is hurting so when it's time to pray don't just stand and be organized and say well i i know I, I don't want people to see me let camera not pass me you have to deal with certain things once and for all this spirit of death that i'm always seeing in my dreams tonight is the time to deal with it i i, I reject untimely death but just say no it will not come it, that is a joke you are going to have to place aggression this door that opens for others but just when it gets to me that door closes somebody was supposed to sign something on your table and just because he turned to discuss a wind just push all the files and they can't find it again and that becomes fine what kind of satanic thing is that and you are here keeping quiet and he said does not matter he will find it one day the same wind that pushed it must push it back was it not the east wind that blew that abba listen I'm, I'm i'm planting a holy anger in you father you gave me five children the devil is already taking two i assure you satan's plan is not to take two is to take all he took one and you kept quiet the bible says in the early church watch this the book of acts when satan took james and the church kept quiet they didn't do anything about it he said ah the bible says he proceeded further and he now took peter and the church said no more the bible says the church gathered together and began to pray the same angels that rescued peter were still there when james was dying but because there was silence and they did not pray the same angels that would deliver your family today they've always been there it's just that you've not given it the kind of aggression hallelujah listen let me tell you something 
someone once asked me a question i said apostle what does it take to build a global ministry like this and i looked at him with compassion i said which part of the answer now am i going to give this person one of it is a testimony in the spirit that you have mastered the art of keeping evil forces at bay when physical victory manifests is because that victory has been established in the spirit please hear me it is not when your job manifests that god answered you <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished you will find out that you can wake up in the morning that's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to there are a few people who may walk back maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything you know and they may feel disappointed you hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit that is it goliath died in the realm of the spirit david killed goliath before he met him there and he said mr man you are standing just as a mass of interruption i'm going to bring you down even with a stone so when we are going to pray now please i want you to pray with seriousness there are things that you wrote there are sicknesses in your body can i tell you we are in the days where headache can become cancer thanks to demons you will feel a little headache something that you will just say ah, it's paining me the next time the pain goes to this side then it goes to another place unconnected i'm not a doctor but you will know this is a demon spirit you hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body have you heard people say that it starts from my head you know how hard it is to move around your body even god had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely until you stop it by the power of the holy ghost how about businesses that are going down from january your business has been going down and you've just been watching it thank god for principles listen we are people of principles and we're intelligent people but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit the physical realm is a child a slave helpless slave to the realm of the spirit if you do not deal with things spiritually whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time i assure you if you're a ministry here as a man of God, it is not just by invitation, poster, social media. Those are physical things and they are profitable. The real victory is in the realm of the spirit. Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. You think they make themselves forget? There are wicked spirits. What do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph? And added two more years one man's forgetfulness added another man's pain hallelujah how about someone who just received some money that should bless the family and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil used your face or used something else to money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be a very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says oh so this is my enemy you go to the office the next day good afternoon sir you are leaving this job now what did i do no before you kill me i will kill you both of you are innocent there is a spirit joining this thing has happened even between husband and wife have you seen it happen that a man will go to sleep a wicked spirit will use the face of the wife and the man gets up and says, no no way not in this house and the devil is just standing stealing killing destroying in the name of jesus tonight by the power that raised jesus from the dead
Karaka sobregete beleke tosi apaka. Karate kasana katabalaka. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night. Goes down this night. Goes down this night. The same way the Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you and the person is thirsty and you are bringing water the person gets up in the morning and says you you got a job in this company when two weeks ago come you are promoted to my PA what happened I had a dream and I saw you giving me water and in my mind I interpret it to mean you're a good person ah, life do you know I really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit I'm a person of principles there are it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit but let me tell you in order of priority the physical realm came as the child of the realm of the spirit that means for anything physical it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the lord opened my eyes and i saw something i saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that the bike passed and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke someone fell children go to pluck mango from a tree they fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again and yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones you think that is just a fall listen we are god gave us a mind to think but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms when you see evil call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood ah, what is this pain that i'm having mysterious pain and the devil says cancer like it happened to your father like it happened to this and said no it will not happen to me i went to school that's not how the realm of the spirit works you stand there listen there is a way you open fire at the devil huh you have drawn a line anything you permit will grow hear me anything you permit will grow you permit failure it grows you permit the spirit of death it takes one step towards your house you turn back in the name of jesus christ this is how believers are taught to maintain victory hallelujah apostle but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up i don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of jesus i came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus the son of the living god my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost Someone is praying. Repa katoshe ke praska tebe leke tosh. Krante ke barosha praska teke tesh. Krapa katoska tebe leke toske betia. Every mysterious sickness roaming around my body, I curse you by the God of heaven, Spirit of death. 
I call you by your name and I banish you from my life banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying Hallelujah. 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 Now I'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that Jabez prayed. Number one, it says, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. As I mention them, I will lead you to pray. This is the miracle service. I want you to participate. If you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you, that is, you, you can do that. But by all means, any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that by mercy, let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me bless me i activate the blessing upon my life i activate the blessing i decree and declare blessed in the city blessed in the country blessed in abuja blessed in lagos blessed in the united kingdom blessed in south africa blessed in the united states in the name of jesus man of god pray pray the blessing of the lord pray it upon your spirit pray it upon your children now pray it upon the works of your hands blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the country blessed shall be your needing trough go ahead and pray outside make sure you are praying all the overflows make sure you are praying in the name of jesus the blessing is upon me 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 speaking loud and clear speaking loud and clear speaking louder than any curse speaking that louder than any demonic thing minutes you are praying the blessing is upon me prospering the works of my hands the blessing is upon me manifesting as signs and wonders the blessing is upon me turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder The blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shalege peketos kata frendege parusiata. Embra kato kapres kate peketos. Sobanto shoto baleketos. Ibra to seveze kate peleketos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over 
watch this now when the flood was over the flood of noah now remember everything and everyone except noah his wife the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark am i right on that these were the only things that were alive you find that noah came out and then noah read an altar you find that in genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22 he, he carried some of the animals that were left some of the animals came two by two some of the animals came seven by seven you will see that even some that were left noah still slaughtered them and they died but watch what happened when god wanted the earth to increase again give us genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. i want to show you the power of the blessing what did god do to noah same thing he did to adam you see and god blessed noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful does that sound like something he had said before multiply that means every time god sees small things what he does to increase them is to make this same thing keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer that means in god's mind what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful what it means to be blessed is to multiply what it means to be blessed is to replenish you are not blessed in god's mind until he sees fruitfulness until he sees multiplication until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue this is god's idea every time you hear him speaking a blessing he will break it down and say this is my idea of being blessed be fruitful multiply and replenish the earth are you ready to pray we are still praying the blessing prayer say father, father as a result of the blessing that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life by the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons you can call the name of your children you can call the name of every company everyone who is under your care declare upon them be fruitful multiply be fruitful multiply replenish 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 Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this powerful video. I hope you were blessed. I believe you prayed through the video. You prayed through the video. God is going to open up your life. Favor will be provoked into your life. God bless you. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. And stick around. If you've not subscribed, do where to subscribe. Drop your comments on the comment section. And God will bless you. See you in the next video. Bye for now. God bless.